y'all. I went to the bathroom, grabbed the trash can, as soon as I got back to the bed. This is my bed. I don't really want to show the whole place just for the sake of other people's privacy, but this is my bed. I brought some sheets and stuff from home. Y'all can hear me because I'm kind of whispering. Today is day one of my trip. I was assigned a three-day trip on Tuesday. Today is Thursday. My report time is at like 12.15 and it's currently 11 o'clock. So I'm just going to get there early so that way I can get familiar with the airport and the aircraft and such. Um, it's my first time flying by myself, qualified. So I am pretty nervous for that, but I'm sure I'll do fine and I'm whispering because I'm at my crash pad and I don't want to wake anybody up but I'm just gonna grab some breakfast and then call my uber to head to the airport it's very snowy here I will take the train but I'm just gonna do uber instead yesterday was my first reserve day I'm currently in a five-day reserve bucket which means I'm five days on call and um, yesterday was my first day of that and they didn't call me but I already had a trip assigned for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So once I come back from that trip, I will have one more day left in my reserve bucket. So hopefully they don't call me because I made some plans with my friends. I really didn't do much yesterday. I just got some groceries from Audi, some little snacks and stuff so I can have while I'm here. I'll just buy some other stuff at the airport because I didn't have enough space to bring my lunchbox. Being that we fly the CRJ aircraft is so small and I didn't really want a chance bringing extra bags and stuff. We get in pretty late so I'm not sure if I'm be able to do anything but I will try for the vlog. See y'all at the airport. Thank you so much. I just made it to the aircraft and I'm the only one here. I got here super early just because I this is my first time flying. So I just wanted to get familiar with the aircraft, know where all the stuff is, have time to do my pre-flight and check all the galley and equipment and stuff. Um, today I'm flying on the 900. It's empty because nobody's here obviously. Um, so I'm just going to finish, check my emergency equipment, check my galley and everything. I'm supposed to start boarding in about... 30 minutes, um, so I definitely have plenty of time.
Did you check on my um, greenhouse? Hey y'all. So, currently on a two hour six at the airport and have one more flight today from Minneapolis to Fargo, North Dakota. So, I have about one more hour before our flight leaves. So my camera died, of course. So right now I'm just um, kind of getting set up in my room. Well, I'm starting like to make a little routine for myself just to make sure that I don't leave anything the next morning. When I first come in, I hang up my uniform and my coat, and then I take out all my wires for my electronics out of my bag, and I put them all in the same area where there's a lot of chargers by the nightstand or like by the desk. So I'll put some by the desk, some by the nightstand. Like my phone, my laptop, I'll put by the bed. But the other stuff like my work phone, uh, my AirPods, all of that, I'll put them all together so that way I don't forget it the next morning. Recap of today. First leg was good, it was early, I was on time. Uh, second flight was just a turn, so we didn't get off the plane, but we were in Indiana, and <laughs> y'all almost was late for boarding. Oh, like, uh, we had like a two-hour sit. I'm just sitting there eating my burger and stuff, and we have to start boarding 30 minutes prior to departure. For some reason in my mind, I was thinking that we start boarding at 7:30, but really we start boarding at 7:10. Good thing I left where I was sitting a little bit early. I didn't know how far the walk was going to be. So I was like, all right, let me just leave at 7 and start walking to the gate. And then I had to use the bathroom. So I went in the bathroom. And while I'm in the bathroom, it just hit me that, oh, crap, we're supposed to be boarding at 7.10. And when I checked my watch, it was like 7.06. And I was rushing to get to the gate. And by the time I got on, the gate agent was saying that I had one minute to get ready for boarding. But good thing I had another flight attendant on the 900 aircraft. So she was able to pre-flight the plane for me, how I showed y'all earlier when I was just checking all the equipment. So she was able to do that for me, thank God. It was a quick flight, about 40 minutes. So I had to serve first class, but main cabin didn't get anything and had this one lady who was getting upset that I was taking long. Literally my first day, and I know that you don't know that, but still, like, you can see me handing out other people's drinks. Like, it's not that I'm forgetting about you. People are really impatient, and, but anyway, I'm not gonna let the negative ruin my other two good flights, because my last flight, the passengers gave us a Starbucks gift card, and I thought that was so nice. Let me see if I can find it. Definitely gonna use that. I don't plan on doing much tonight. I wanted to go out, but it's like freezing cold. It's like 12 degrees here. All in all, I had a good first day. Um, I'm just learning, just learning to give myself grace because I will make mistakes, but that's how I learn. And that's how I'm able to just tweak my processes as I go. Luckily, I have a good crew. Captain and first officer are great. Um, my other flight attendant, she's really nice and helpful. She's been flying for like three years or so. So I'm gonna do a quick room tour because the girl is tired. And <laughs> I'm so excited to get some sleep honestly because 
at the crash pad. I haven't really been getting much sleep. I think because I'm at the top bunk and I just be like sleeping on guard just so I don't fall or I don't know, something happens. And then last night I kept waking up like every hour, especially like if I'm in a new place and I'm sleeping with people that I don't know, like I'm just on guard and my body just won't let me sleep. So I was literally waking up every hour on the hour. It was a few moments later. Yeah, that's one of the craziest things that happened to me. Early like 5.30. And I just woke up like puking. Like I was just laying here. And I kept feeling like this nauseous feeling. So I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna sleep it off. It's like, no, you, you know when it's about to come. Like you can feel, I don't know. I'm just going to drink some water and try to sleep it off. As I have uh, like a few more hours before we have to get ready. We have to get the bathroom trash can and put it next to my bed. Just my love. day two of my trip day two of three today we have four legs from here back to minneapolis minneapolis to st louis st louis to back to minneapolis then minneapolis to bismarck north dakota so i'll be in north dakota for two nights it's a different part of north dakota <sighs> y'all this early this morning I don't know what was happening like I just woke up and it felt like I was hung over that's how the nausea felt like I mind you I haven't drank or anything I don't know if it's something I ate I mean last night I ordered pizza and cinnamon um, cinnamon pull aparts that I was gonna eat for breakfast and I only ate like two slices of the Papa John's pizza and then I went to sleep and then I woke up I had a throbbing headache so I chugged some water and then I woke up a little bit later and I just felt so nauseous and so I was trying to sleep it off sleep it off but the feeling was still there so I went to the bathroom grabbed the trash can and soon as soon as I got back to the bed I just threw up in the trash can because like it just came out automatically I I was like, I do not know what is going on, but I kind of narrowed it down to it probably is motion sickness because when you're on the plane and you're in your jump seat in the front, when you're taking off, it's, it's a very different feel when you're sitting in a passenger seat. It honestly feels like a roller coaster. Like if I didn't have the seatbelt on, I would go sliding down the aisle, but that was just so weird and so random. I was like... God help me. God bless me. Yeah, I know that's Summer Walker song. <laughs> I think I'm insane. <laughs> but I'm feeling better. Um, you know, usually after you throw up, you feel much better. So I feel much better. Um, I have about five minutes before I need to head downstairs to the shuttle. Our van pickup time is 10 a.m. And it is definitely snowing, y'all. It's definitely snowing. Um, it seems like our flight is still good to go this morning. So I don't see that it's going to be canceled yet. Um, but we are going into Minneapolis. And it's also snowing there. And hopefully it's not too bad. Um, perfectly, we have a good day. Good passengers.
We made it to Bismarck, North Dakota. Today was a day. First flight got delayed. Coming in. I'm on FaceTime. So our first flight of the day got delayed, which pushed us back for the rest of the day. We were off schedule for the rest of the day pretty much. So doing the flights back to back, it made the day feel shorter. Even though it was a longer day than yesterday, I think today was like a 10 hour duty day. We're feeling a lot better. Um, I had some ginger ale, I had a light breakfast, had a few snacks in between because honestly we don't really get time to eat between flights. I was talking to the girl that I was working with and she said it's probably just my body adjusting to being in the air. Uh, most likely motion sickness because right before I got on the plane I had that smash burger but I think it just didn't settle in my stomach well maybe then she said it also could have been nerves and I think it could just probably been a combination of it. my anxiety and mixed with the food mixed with the motion it, I was just like going through it I have some more ginger ale that I'm going to drink and some more water that wait for my food um, the hotel here is cute it's not as nice as the one yesterday, but it's more cozy and it's not a lot of space. So the heat, because y'all know I like my heater. Y'all know I like the heat. So the heat can circulate the room better. I am getting better as the legs go on. I've been getting faster during the service, which is good because we've been having some quick flights. Just getting better with the phases of flight in general. We have a quick layover here. Report time at 9.30. So it's not really much that I can show you guys except the hotel room, which I'm sorry if this vlog is kind of sucky because we didn't really get out to do much because we only had we only had short layovers. So yeah, I was the fourth flight attendant and we had to stand by the door during boarding. When we got to I can't remember where we went. Oh, St. Louis. St. Louis was okay, but when we got back to Minneapolis. Oh my god, it was snowing so bad. I was so cold. So I got these toe, toe warmers that I bought and I was telling myself to wear them today, but I didn't. And I regretted it because my feet were freezing, freezing. You're forward, you have to greet the passengers on and off and open and close the door. So you're standing right there. The snow was literally just coming into the plane. It was my day. I hope y'all have a good day. Just gonna do wind down. Watch the TV. As y'all can see, the sun is beaming today. I have like the perfect, I have like the perfect view of the sun. But good morning. The day is go home day. For me, go back to crash bad day. I hope y'all can hear me over this heater. Okay, it just went off. So we have three flights today from here to Minneapolis. And then we have a one hour sit um, and then Minneapolis to Milwaukee, Milwaukee back to Minneapolis, and then your girl is done. I really hate that I wasn't able to do much on this trip, but that's the real life of a flight attendant, especially being on reserve. You mostly are getting trips that nobody wants. So if somebody drops a trip, those are the trips that we get. So hopefully once I'm a line holder, um, we'll be able to get more longer layovers so that way we can actually do stuff and explore the cities but the view right now is amazing it's it's really pretty with the snow and the sun peeking through i'm just going to finish getting ready i have to head down in about 30 minutes or so to catch our to catch our shuttle at 9 30 with the crew oh update i'm feeling much better today no nausea no no motion sickness thank god
I just had the most miserable walk. Finished my trip, last flight was good. I had to tell y'all about my captain cause he played a prank on me. I can't really talk too loud cause I'm back at the crash pad and people are asleep. So just being cautious of that. And I decided to take the train today, which was a horrible idea because it was literally freezing outside. And the walk from the train to the crash pad is like 10 minutes. But one, I didn't know where I was going. And two, sidewalk, sidewalks are covered in snow. I'm walking in my flight attendant shoes, rolling a suitcase in like a couple inches of snow. It was just a horrible idea. I should have just called Uber. It was so cold, I had to stop at a hotel on the way just so my hands could warm up because they were hurting so bad. First, I wanted to tell y'all about yesterday and how my captain tried to play a prank on me. We um, finished our last leg of the trip and the captains, they have this screen where crew support, which is the people who schedule you with, crew support can send them messages if they are trying to reach you because they know that you can't have your phone or that you're doing a flight or whatever. So we finished the last leg and then my captain was like, hey, can you come see? And he was like, read this. So I'm reading the message on the screen and it's like, um, have both flight attendants contact crew support. We need them to do a turn or something like that. A turn is basically like you go one place out of base and then you come right back. So he's like, you might want to let the other flight attendant know. So I'm like, oh, really? Like, we just finished this long trip and I have to call crew support to see what they did to my schedule. So I pick up the phone, I, I call the I flight attendant. I'm like, hey, the captain just got this message saying that we have to do a turn. And she's a line holder, so she knows like the rules more than me and she's been here like three years. So she's like, um, oh no, they can't do that to me because I'm a line holder. So I'm like, great it's just me i'm just gonna be stuck doing this turn by myself while while the rest of my crew is off so um the passengers finished the plane and he's like you know i'm kidding right i was like about what he was like it was a fake message yeah i was <laughs> i was cracking up oh my god and we was giving him a hard time for the rest of the day and i was like seriously but Anywho, today is my last day of my reserve bucket. I submitted for a, I submitted for an early release. So I'm hoping that they'll release me early. You know, today I woke up just like in a funk. One, I miss home. And two, like just getting out of the military. I feel like sometimes it's hard to transition to the civilian side and then when you're like placed in a setting with group of people sometimes i feel like it's hard to relate my anxiety just gets the best of me sometimes and then i'm such an introvert so i really like to be by myself after i've been with people for a long period of time and then i have to come here and don't really have own space to do what i want so it's still like exhausting because I just come off of a three-day trip. So it's just a little exhausting for me right now, but I was just in my feelings. So I just wanted to end this vlog. Um, I hope you enjoyed my first trip as a newbie. Hope you all enjoyed.